me like they are doing some work here, expanding a huge parking lot over there with access to the beach. Uh, it, it looks like some of it is kind of newly under construction, closed right now to traffic or to vehicles. But otherwise, this is really a pretty big beach. This is just one. This is like this section right here is less than like an eighth of the property. So it's really big. It must be pretty amazing in the summertime. Oh, you think, you think I've got food? You think I've got food for you? I've been seeing you guys out there fishing all day long, catching all that fish. I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll give you some food. No, 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 I can't. Well, I don't know, look at, how cute you are. There are so many reasons why I love this Davis campground. I mean, the nature, all the birds and bunnies and the gorgeous river. Um, and this mountain, this is a sacred mountain and there's petroglyphs all over it. So let's go take a look. So the Bureau of Land Man Management has done a really great job of setting up these informational towers and, you know, all along here and they've done a lot to protect this mountain which we learn here is called inscription rock and it is a part of a collection of mountains that are really important to the Mojave people um, and this one in particular inscription rock is where they would uh, perform spiritual rituals, prayer, and contemplation. How lucky and fortunate am I to have found myself at another place that offers sanctuary and a safe place for contemplation and prayer and meditation. So I love this. And can you see there some of the petroglyphs? So there's one right there. If we come down a little more. Another one. So let's see what else is hidden in these rocks. Of course, I'm so curious and, you know, I'm fighting that urge to want to go in there and get closer and be able to read, but, you know, these are really, this is a sacred space, a place where, um, you know, up at the top of this mountain, there's still some uh, rituals are held and we can't see it from this perspective, but it's important to maintain respect for this kind of sacred space. The not so romantic side of living in a van is showering in a state park. 
Make sure you bring your shower shoes.